graphene is the thinnest, the strongest, the best conductor ever we have on the Earth. Its supermaterial has gotten Nobel Prize in physics in 2010, and it's expected to revolutionize the energy sectors. For example, lightweight aircrafts or energy storage can be made from graphene. However, graphene has the challenge of agglomeration, so the scale-up of graphene production is still a very big challenge due to this problem. And then it <coughs> gets back to its origin, to graphite, which we use in the pencil tips. So at the Graphmatic, we invented a solution to prevent the agglomeration and to scale up the production of graphene by inserting a smart chemistry between graphene flakes. So we keep the graphene properties even in large industrial scales. So we use just a water solution. We don't use any nasty chemicals. So it's eco-friendly and it's scalable. And we are bringing the cost of graphene dramatically down to be industrial applicable. So we patented a solution and we patented a material which we call RC graphene. And this material, it's a powder which we implement or we integrate into different materials like grease to make a thermal paste for cooling electronics or into plastics to make advanced engineering uh, composites or into metals to make metal composites, even by 3D printing, uh, printing or printed electronics. For example, this is one of the examples. I mean, a thermal grease without our material has a thermal conductivity around like four point something uh, watts Kelvin meter. If we add our material just 10 weight percent, we get the thermal conductivity up to 10.5 watts Kelvin meter. And we are increasing even more. So this is very needed in many industries, in automotive and in telecommunication and uh, other industries. And we have a market strategy for market introduction in 2019 for this specific products while we are working actively on the other products. And the market size for only thermal grease is like 20 billion US dollar and it's growing expon exponentially. And the reason is because we have a lot of uh, movement towards digitalization and electrification. We need to cool electronics in better ways. So we started last year in the uh, beginning of September. And if we look today, we managed to work, I mean, closely and to be uh, partner to many industries locally in Sweden, for example, ABB, Ericsson, and many others in different, in different sectors. We always work with industries to find solutions, I mean, to, uh, to solve by our material solution uh, technology. And in terms of... Uh, yeah. In terms of production, today we have the capability to produce uh, like uh, kilos per day in the lab scale, and we are working with contract manufacturer to scale this up. And in terms of team, we have also expanded, I mean, from, from one by begin when we started to more than, uh, we are eight today and we are recruiting two more people. And uh, recently, ABB has invested in our company together with uh, Valorid Ventures in, uh, in Sweden. And we will use this to get to the market closer and to expand in different, uh, in different segments. So graphene is needed and it's proven that it's important for different industries. The question now, how we can secure the sustainable supply of graphene in Europe? China started to say no to supply graphene to European industries. What should we do? So we have the material available in, in mines, in, for example, one of them uh, called Vuxna Mine in Sweden. And recently we, joined a letter, uh, we signed a letter of intent with a com Canadian company called Leading Edge Materials to build a joint venture and a factory in Sweden to make graphene starting from graphite. So we will supply the European industries with graphene in the coming years. If you have questions, we'll come.